Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you. This is going to be on the storage sheds, just like I told you I was going to do. You're going to come into floors. Let's get started with one right away, guys. We're looking for nightly floor number four. You're going to put one of those next to each other. Then you're going to go into walls. Come all the way down to half walls, guys. And we're going to do noble wall support. This is number two. And then you're going to grab noble support one number one. Now, Dizzle did go with the corner on this. Again, guys, you don't have to, but you're still going to have to put those thin pieces down like we did before, okay? And you're going to come back to noble wall support one. Still on half walls, you're going to grab nightly corner. One of those on each side. Still on half walls, you're going to grab noble corner. Okay. Dizzle's going to grab half stairs here. And I'm going to go into floors. Again, you could use whatever you want, but Dizzle is using umber. It's got to go up one like that. Okay, so you're going to see the nubs on the back side of it. Then you're going to come up top. Now, I don't have these on the corner, but you can, guys. You can figure out the pieces that you need, but you really don't see it. And you're going to go into roof. You're going to go grab your noble gable. Put one on that side. It's the right. Grab the left. You can Now you could snap. Okay. Now we'll come up to the roof. I believe we're going to use... Number three? No. Number two and a number one, I believe. Number two. Yeah. Dizzle likes to let it hang over by one square. It's entirely up to you guys. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I prefer. Oh, didn't go in. Okay, let's finish off with our ridge. Oh, not going to be able to get up there with the... All right, uh, so you're going to go grab your Nightly Ridge. Okay. Put one of those on each side. Looks like a storm came through here. There we go. You want it so this piece hangs just over the edge, okay? Then we're going to go back into roofs. Go down to your ridges. I believe it's nightly ridge number two. Yep. There you go. This one's done. And then from here, you can go ahead and put... Uh, oh, I forgot the copper. But you could put uh, the lightly in there. You would put one down, guys, and then you would come with the... Uh... Let's just use one of these for an example. Oh, the roof is off. Make sure that's centered on your side, though, guys. Now, come into floors. And then you're just going to adjust this by the height, guys, of the of the chest. Okay? And you come out like that. Because you may or may not have, depending if you have those unlocked yet or not, the larger ones. Okay? I'll wait for fresh daylight. And then we'll finish the other two, all right? We have fresh daylight coming back, guys. Dizzle went ahead and grabbed some copper as well as I fixed this. I couldn't leave that that way for you guys on the tutorial. So, again, let me show you large chest really quick. Put one on the left. One on the right. And then, again, you come into your building, building parts, floors. You can go with... Beachy Thin Floor probably would look good. If you want to continue with Nightly Thin, you can. Actually, let's just do that one. So you're going to go right above the chest, guys, right there. And you're going to snap the other, the second piece right, right next to it. Then you can come back into the large chest. Okay. 
Sorry about that. I hit exit and I wanted to, I, I cut that out because it was showing the names list. I don't like how, <laughs> sometimes I get carried away and I, I get button pushy happy and I pushed escape by mistake. But there you go. That's how you would see that one. So let's start with the next one. The noble. Uh, building parts. Floors. We are looking for noble floor number three on this one. And you put one right next to each other. Actually, we're going to put another. Go ahead and put two if you want. Or actually, I'm just going to show you how to do this. The smaller one and the larger noble. Th that's what the next two are, okay? So from here, you're going to come in the walls. You go all the way down the half walls. I like to turn it so the umber piece is facing in, so it breaks up a little bit. It looks like it's giving you a full umber piece in the middle. Okay. And then back on the, the smaller one, you're gonna put a half wall on this side. Now, unfortunately, there is no smaller half wall like like with the, the lightly corner. It's up to you if you want to go all umber all the way across. The way Dizzle was doing it, he was doing noble half wall on each side. I'm facing the umber out. And then I put an umber piece on the end. Okay. And then from here, you don't have to worry about the thin piece this time. You can go straight to your, your gables. Gable right. Did I snap that right? I did not. I had it on and then I let it go and then it snapped incorrectly. There you go. And then go grab your gable left and snap. And then let's see. See if it's a three, a two, and a one again. Actually, it probably won't be. Actually, yeah, it will. It should fit just right. You won't get that overhang with this one again because this piece is larger than uh, the, the the nightly is. Okay, so two. Okay, and then now you can grab your ridges. Nightly ridge one. One on each side. See if I can do this without having to get up on a stair. And that should be a number two. Yeah. Okay. That one's done. Same thing again, guys. All you would do is put one of these down, and then it's just right above, and then put two, and then you can stack four in there with no issues, okay? Now let's go back to the larger one. So the larger one... You'd finish this off, go back into walls, come down the half walls. And you're just going to stack another one of these on top on each side again. Make sure the umber is facing in. Same thing again. We'll turn the umber this way this time. Okay, and then now go in the walls. You're going to scroll all the way up. You're going to grab noble corner. You're going to put one on each corner, total of four. See how it looks like now we got, even though we didn't put one in there because of the way the piece is designed. Let's see if we have our ridges here. We do. Ridge right. Ridge left. Now, if this bothers you, like if this is just too busy for you, you can possibly come and see how this works. Go into fences. Let's see. Rustic railing number two. No, rustic railing number three. It should go all the way. Yeah. So depending how you wanted to do this, I don't know if you have to put a piece first. A thin piece. Yeah, you'd probably have to put an umber Suji thin floor number four, put one on the bottom and then one on top. And it should fit just perfect, right? It would end right at the top. But that'll break that up a little bit, okay? If you don't like that look. 
And you go into roofs. Then it'll be a number two and a number one again. I'm going to get on a ladder this time just to make sure that we're not fighting with it. You're going to grab your ridge. Nightly ridge number one. One on each side. There we go. And then, nope, it's not there. Go back in there. Go back down a ridge. It should be number two. Yep. And then you should be able to fit six of the larger grand chest in there. Okay. So that's how I was doing those. Actually, you can do this. Take these out, guys. That's one way. I think I was doing it this way. Go into uh, nightly support. Grab noble pillar. And then grab nightly pillar. There you go. That's another way of doing it, too. I like that way better. I was like, why does it look different? Why? There you go. That's how it should look. All right. That's a much cleaner look, especially with this in the back. Again, make sure you put a Suji thin floor on the bottom and then you should have a sec. One, two, three, four, and it should end right at that line for you. All right, guys, there you go. And then again, same thing would apply. Guys, you would just put one of these down. I liked, again, I like to back it up and then bump it out till it's green. And then you would just do your floor, guys. Okay? Whichever one you want. I think I went with... Actually, no, I didn't go with white. I went with the... Uh, but white doesn't look bad either, though. Looks clean. And if you wanted to swap that out, you could do that. You could do the white with that too. The nightly, uh, let's see, floors. That would be the beachside boulevard. That one right there, beach floor number two. That can go in its spot. That will look really nice as well. Okay. So three different versions, guys. Hope this helps you. Um, as far as lighting goes, there really isn't <laughs> any spot to put it. I don't think this will fit in there. That's why I have candles on the side of the other one. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any, uh, the cords over there. But you could figure that out, guys, with something, okay? All right. After this, guys, uh, we should be getting the steering wheel tomorrow by the time this video comes out. So I will be messing around with that. And then after that, we will be probably heading back to, um, the modern, uh, beach house. We'll do a couple episodes of those because I do have plans to start the entrance over there those ideas are rolling around in dizzle's head that he needs to uh get those out uh, out on the video for you guys all right again thanks for watching hope these help and utilize them uh in your builds